Get over here. Not bad, not bad. You already know I had to try out the trap assassin with lightning with negative enemy resistance now applying to traps. Let's see how good it is. We've got Crescent Moon, J Mod, and then a four faceted armor and then Griffin's Eye to just get lots of negative to enemy lightning res. 85. Now that that's applying to traps in addition to the Sunder Charm, let's see how it does. And then we'll do, then we'll run through it. After this, we'll run through it. So those are previously lightning immunes. This is only on players one, but still, I'll go through here. Then I'll go through everything in total, and then uh, <laughs> I literally just recorded for like 15 minutes. And I noticed that the mic was off. I'm just using Dragonflight. Basically to teleport. Instead of having to use Enigma. Or like teleport charges or something. Here we go. And Eth Jalals. I usually always check these. When I'm here to see if there's like some war cry ones or something. Honestly, don't even really need her at this point. <laughs> I don't really need to go back to town. I can do that. Just run or whatever. This is definitely going to be better, I think. As strong as lightning is compared to fire with the infinity mercenary by like a long shot <laughs> also not having teleport feels a little bit less safe oh shit <laughs> Getting stun locked and shit. Time for the moment of truth. That's going to be ridiculously strong with the uh, Infinity Mercenary, Emilio. But we got to get, oh, we got Cold Wahid. Let's go with that. This shit's about to be crazy. Yes, right here. <clears throat> he ran for cover. Ooh. 
This is way stronger than the fire one, that's her damn shit. I mean, lightning, I think, really just is like a superior... Superior element, basically. I mean, the Sunder Charm breaks a lot of the immunities and all that shit, but at the same time, certain things, like, for instance, like, lightning, the enemies that are immune to lightning damage have really low health pools compared to, like, the enemies that have really high resistance or immunity to, uh, the fire damage. Those ones tend to have, like, real chunky health pools. Yeah, this is, like, even the damage against Bale, the Bale kill and everything. I don't think I've found a Snow Clash F before, either. I don't even really think it needs Griffins, to be honest with you. Griffins is just, like, a little extra touch on top. But I'm trying to get, essentially, the strongest one that I could think of. So that's <laughs> I can't believe I didn't have my mic on though recording for like 15 minutes just rambling <laughs> with this This is, this is kind of nasty though. I guess if I get in trouble or start feeling like there's like a lot of like souls or something around me in Worldstone, I could, I could just switch over to Fade. Cause this looks scary right here, but then with Fade, it's all good really. <clears throat> I mean, I do have to watch out for souls. I'll just drop my lightning traps around the corner let those handle it because they, they're gonna they're gonna die really quick they don't have like some huge health pool let's see how this goes with the Diablo though <laughs> get those traps laid Not bad, not bad. I mean, infinity makes everything elemental stronger, pretty much. Except for poison. Alright, so here's all the gear, if I didn't already mention it. Crescent Moon. You could have it in anything. You could probably get faster trap playing if you put it in, like, a, uh... Phase Blade, one of the elite swords. Like, Cryptic Sword or something like that. Just some rare gloves. BK Ring. Arachnid Smash, Raven Frost, War Travs, J Mod, Assassin Amulet, 216. Then we got a Jeweler's Plate with four facets in it, four lightning facets. Griffins. Pretty badly rolled Griffins. And then CTA, and we got Phoenix on swap just to be able to leech back some health by using the Redemption Ara. 
mercenary infinity treachery and vamp gaze here's the skill tree max lightning sentry put nine points in death sentry i think that was one of the last things i put some some extra points in at the end i put i maxed out fade and then I put a point in Dragonflight and everything leading up to that. I'm definitely going to have to give the new Martial Arts Assassin a try, the, the dual mosaic. Definitely going to have to check that out and give my opinion on it and everything like that. I never got around to doing it during the PTR, but I think... Some people are saying that it's OP, but I don't really think that's the case, to be honest with you. Like, it seems like it's strong. And even like against like Ubers and stuff with the crazy times that people are getting with it, a lot of that also is crushing blow and stuff, and Kixen's always been really good, like Dragon Talon. So if you're doing Dragon Talon and you have a lot of charges so that you never miss, it's almost like it was back before it got nerfed a while back. Now it just basically has better visual effects and it also has some some elements in there too. So if you have Sundering Charms and shit like that in the mix as well, it's going to really, really crush shit. I have one particular setup that I want to try with that though. <clears throat> so there's that. Here's all the stats. Here's also the Enigma version of it. I would just do Enigma, Spirit, and then Griffin's Eye with Crescent Moon. And then I actually threw a Flame Rift Sundering Charm on this one so that the Corpse Explode is going to now damage enemies that were previously fire immune. So they're going to take physical and fire damage now. That they weren't previously taking at all even though it's not like a ton of damage it's kind of underwhelming even so you really got to have a lot of negative to fire negative to whatever an enemy is immune to but it does really just happen to be a coincidence that all the enemies that are immune to like lightning and shit have really low health pools everybody have a good one i'll catch you on the next one thank you so much for watching